thirsty. Take stock. First things first. What time of day is it? Noon. We have a, we have unsuitable weather for walking. Nothing to eat in my pants or anything. You know, like it's kind of a weird position to be in. But we could do a good overhaul and get what back. We're at 18 degrees now. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy watching a circle spin. Right. Go. Here's one of my okay, I it's a world of all the cloth, right? And we're just doing this to regain condition and wait for a put one in, get one out, right? Where are we there for skills? Come on, skills. Get mended. Okay. We're on our way to three. Cooking three dents? <clears throat> That's important. I don't really see me cooking too much, though. So, food wise, we do have that little bit of meat outside, right? Okay. Not burning through a ton of calories fixing my pants. So. Okay. These guys, we could get another over half degree out of. This guy, look at that. There's point four in the right. Come on, it's a toque. What are you fixing on it? Can't get much there. Nice. Getting hungry. And the weather's getting nice. Look at that. Okay, it didn't even move. But, imagine if it had. That would be good. I don't know where I was going with that. Let's look at our warp bonus. Distract from my rambling. Alright, um, I don't know, man. That's a great one, you know? That one's pretty great, too. At least decent, right? And we're there. We've got our new undies, our new pants. Some decent socks. She's a thirsty girl. Let's go for a soda. She's got a lot of weight room now, though. Weight room? Room for weight? Carry weight. There we go. Carry capacity. Yes. So, yeah, I'm now... I spent the evening <clears throat> grieving for the lost uh, carcasses of Forlorn Muskeg. So, completely changes all strategy. Like, I have to come into a zone and just, like, run, not walk, at all the carcasses I know of. If I'm going to make this. Because we're at 30 days. Oh, I've been sitting pretty. Oh, man. Uh, I had all the confidence. If they're going to yoink the deer carcass on me. Oh, not only is that awesome. But that just suddenly changes everything. Like, that does so much. That little change. I never even thought of that really as a thing. Why don't those deer carcasses harvest or harvest, uh, you know, decay? So what else do I want to do while I'm here? I'm not. It's like we could, we could waste some good travel time by reading. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, 18%. That's what I'd like to see. There was no number I had in mind. Then is all we're leaving here. What do we have? You are a 58%. I like gambling. Because if we get sick, we just turn around and go back inside. 
you know. No worries. Beautiful. And terrifying. So when we when I walked through Coastal Highway and I saw those crows, little did I know. This ugh. I was just gonna walk off that cliff, guys. Not in a not in a way that I would hopefully sustain any injury, just you know, start going down. But I gotta start playing this game once I've gone to a place. Really I shouldn't ever go back. Unless it's just a transit thing. So there will be no no carcasses on Timberwolf Mountain. No carcasses in Ash Canyon. No carcasses anywhere that I have been. So when I go to Milton, I have to. And if I want that wolf carcass... Thank goodness I haven't been to Hush River Valley. Oh man, this is way tougher now. This is awesome. So we definitely, we need that wolf carcass at, um, we need to pull one more. As soon as we get, there's a wolf carcass or two in Hush River Valley. And then there's a pelt on Timberwolf Mountain. Thank goodness the container stuff will stay good and I've got some crackers awaiting my summit efforts well look a stick all right Man, weather. Give a girl a break. She's cold. She's not hungry. Tired. That's right. Thanks for chiming in. I was trying to make the situation worse. So that maybe the weather would have sympathy. <clears throat> the weather has no sympathy. It is not. There is no mercy here. Are the cattails back there? And you get to the point where am I wasting my calories? Ooh, those hips. Oh, jeepers. You should almost start a fire. Hey, hey, easy. Oh, yeah, that's one of the things I wanted to do too. Was, okay, you know what? We gotta go. Because one thing I wanted to do was, uh, was keep a train of thought. That would have been. That would have been pretty Ooh, moose scratchings. Barry was here, is what that says. Come on, wind. Give a girl a break. Come on now. Hey, that's what we're looking for. Yes, go ahead. Like, I literally, I can't lose one. The way I play, I, 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 Wonderful yeah. Fire. I spent all day getting 4% back. You know, and I just lost probably one or two right here. Perfect. Bah, perfect. Yes, perfect indeed. Yes, why don't you make yourself a tea? A mushroom tea, because I saw we had a few mushrooms. Let's look at that, shall we? Yeah, we can make a couple of mushroom teas. So. That treatment did not do anything. Au contraire. 
All right, mushrooms. Two of them go. <sighs> now it's just keeping her head up, you know, looking around, making sure we're not getting wiped out here. Mushrooms. Two and go. Oh. We had that we had that uh, hardcore The sun is setting. Gonna get a lot colder soon. She's getting thirsty. There we go. Let's get our pot. Grab a torch. Get out of here, man. She can now make it to the maintenance yard without losing any more condition. Unless we encounter a wolf, which would mean that our entire... All these days have been not in a dead world. It's just been in some sort of insanely low probability world. We will be doing the rabbit snare science just to see with everything turned off if you can use the snares as like a portal. Hmm. Sure is dark out there or in here. That's right here. Ah, lantern fuel. This is one of the few places. Do I have a pelt on me or anything, Goofy? No. I do have metal. We do have a hammer. Let's go pick that up. Put that by the forge. Because I'm a chicken to come over here. I must have seen that and then just did not remember it was there at all. So yeah, definitely going to make a hatchet. Jeannie was like, hey, man, what about the shrubbery? And I was like, oh, yes. And for said hatchet, we need, I believe, five scrap pieces of metal. Shall we look? Forging. Um, go ahead and write. Five scrap. It's nice because this place has a lot of lanterns. I'm going to run out of food to eat way before I run out of a lantern fuel. Right? All right three out of five, guys. That's just the scrap metal uh, laying around. If I had them, we haven't even had to work for it. You know, I might even read that. We get all the water? Yeah, we sure did. We had all the lockers. We've done our search. Thank God cattails don't degrade. And please, don't ever make them degrade. I, I really need those. I've tried crawling around in here, and all I got was a sprained ankle. All right, well, I'm going to go to bed. That's all there is to it. All right, yeah. There's four, there's five right there. So we've got our next piece of scrap metal. Cool. Don't forget there's all these cattails in here, so. Cattail stalks. All right, we're going to uh, drink something. Yeah, sure. And see, there's just some good night syrup right there. Bing, good night. You don't get poisoned, she's going to have a good night. 
If she does, she gets just as much uh, re um, recovery as she would if she wasn't poisoned. So, you know, if I'm in a confident position and I have water and stuff like that, like my dead man, I poisoned the dead man. Why not eat raw meat if you're going to bed? Make sure you have enough water. That's the that's the key. And pay attention because you can sleep seven hours. You know, wake up, drink, and immediately sleep. Don't be in a stupid position like stuck in a Timberwolf Mountain hut or something. Okay. Um, you can do five easy. We're going to zip on up to the... Um, you'll see, you'll see. Again, a plan so fantastic, I'm at a loss for words. We're going to go smash that box. We're going to hit this crate with a hammer. And then see there's a, you know, gallon or so of lantern fuel. I hope it's a gallon be nice it's probably half all right break down thirsty work boom yeah okay worth it we get 600 calories for pork and beans it was a 218 calorie breakdown We're really hoping for and we got reclaimed for that's a so-so item for me. But we only need a couple to make our snares, which is just plain weird. All right, so now what am I doing? Am I leaving? No, I'm not. I have to... I have to get onto, onto that lake. She's fully rested. Um... She's a rested lady. Ooh, that's nuts. I'm not going to be prying any cattails. All right, we've got no hot teas. She's got a 19 degree warmth bonus. It's just, if it's foggy out, it'd be really nice. <clears throat> yeah, two, two downs, okay. We can get up here, maybe start a fire in the middle of the lake. So that's safe. Oh, weather crows. I will always call them weather crows. They're fleeing from weather. Or they're moving because something's happening. However, a great indicator of weather, of course, is when the crows come and go. Right? This entire end, pretty much? Wow. <clears throat> Very efficient, unfortunately. You know, I do wonder every once in a while if there's somebody out there who's not really into the long dark, but they really love, you know circles I mean hey I mean don't get me wrong circles are great and all but you know ooh mushrooms
Because so far you've seen a lot of circles this game. Fixing clothes, reading books, harvesting plants. Catch 22 of. I've got to run. I'm freezing. But I shouldn't run because I'm starving. Okay. I'm going to check down here. I, I'm getting the vibe that the accountant never found any down. However, we all know Ash Canyon is full of them. So we can do a complete can Ash Canyon run just for the cattails, right? So that's cool. Gotta warm up somehow. Well, it looks like this is gonna be the spot you're gonna warm up in. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything that would like leave it to Hinterland to throw one like just up here. And you know what too? There might have been a couple on uh, the higher plant setting, but of course the plant settings are low. So where's the sun? I need some sunshine here. This is if it wasn't for the meat, she'd be having a vitamin D deficiency. This place is gloomy. Felt so cold in my life. You know, I don't want it to be cold either. It's not something I'm... Like, we're not messing around here. I don't see. I'm serious about it. I don't want you to be cold. So, I guess we'll, we'll warm up. I should make water and stuff. Literally the thirstiest human you've ever encountered. Okay. Now we're going to read. We're going to... Yes, by hand. Thank you. Or AZ. Perfect. All right. Reishi mushrooms. We have a few. We're going to buy this nice warm fire for 45 minutes. <clears throat> The reason I did that, of course, was to see whether or not my fire got blown out. I make tea and make mushrooms. Let's just do it again. It's just because I have so many, I don't want to... There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. There you go. Hmm? Some calories. Want some uh, want some cattails to go with your? Just so you know, miss, it is. Holy cow! Yeah, water goes so fast. It is. A quick, quickly gone resource, or whatever. Because you burn through water in this setting, I tell you. All right, let's go up and around and step back under that bridge again. Wow. High weather variability means high bad weather variability. It's overcast, potentially snowing. Or it's, uh, you know, blizzarding or windy. We did get some beautiful days at the very beginning, though, so. It's got to make up for that somehow. All about the balance. All about balance.
I mean, really, she's <laughs> going to suffer a vitamin D deficiency if she doesn't get some sunset. All right, good night, Torch. You were great. All right, well, that looks like this place is now uh, scavenged, uh, mostly. <clears throat> there is that little area. You know what? We're in the neighborhood. Let's go check. You know, buy in the neighborhood means, like, within, you know, 600 yards in a hostile and cold environment. It's not the neighborhood you want to be in, but... Now, if you're from a country that experiences winter, if you have a wind that's that vicious on your face, and people might think this is a an exploit, well, you can walk backwards into a wind and it's not as bad. If you're from Canada, you have done that before. If you're from Canada, you walk forward into the wind, and then you turn your back to it and you walk forward, you know it is not safe um, if an animal might attack you but I used to walk to school backwards relying on the uh, relying on the uh, on the lines of the sidewalk to keep me straight This stuff will come in handy. I don't know. Ever since we got rid of the wolves, lady, it's... They're almost just a fancy torch. It makes a lot of noise. You know? What do we have over here? Nothing? Nothing. Now, is that other tea still hot, though? Come on, other tea. Oh, 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 there. Drink. It is going to be a syrup night. She's got to get rid of a tea anyway. <sighs> so here's my logic behind... The whole, where the prison might be located. Okay, so it's coming off a coastal highway and Pleasant Valley. Reason you can't get to it from Pleasant Valley. You can't get to per Perseverance Mills from Pleasant Valley. Is <clears throat> the... Um, There's that landslide, I guess. Okay. Yeah, landslide. And the desolation points. It's a broken bridge. So either
So it's either connected to Pleasant Valley and they'll open that up there. Which I doubt. Or it's Desolation Point. It's got to be in the north, right? If you look at the uh, world, right? She's in Mountain Town. Well, where's north on this map, right? She says it's up north. Well, there's a spot here for it. And a spot here for it. But if you're in Mountain Town, you're already north on the island. So what are they going to do? Make this bigger? And throw in another four or five maps? I think they totally should. Anyway. Here's my theory. Sorry for not... Sorry for not putting up some circles on the screen. Okay, so. They are getting to midday. She's tired. I'll rest soon. I'm not gonna make wow, you're good, lady. Alright. I'm gonna have a little nap. Can I get this to work? Oh, I'm starving. I know, right? Okay, okay. How can this go again? Not you. Okay. Darn it! I don't know how. I think I'm you have to drop there. all your matches except for the one pack. But there's a cool little animation where she throws the match in there. Perfect. Yeah, well, in your world. Anyway. Oh, I'm starving. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there. We won't be having syrup. That's later tonight, the celebration of your new hatchet. So we have everything we need. Nineteen degrees. It's ready. Let's fuel up. That's good hot food. Fuel up for some dog food and cattail. Yeah, because they've, they've got things up here. So I've tried to figure out how to get over there if you can't. I 
Nice. Coming along. Okay. Buck 40. So we need one more piece of coal. Oh, yeah, no, I know. I know, game. Wrong, wrong point. Should have added, yeah, I could have added timer sticks. Oh, well. There we are. I don't know why I was like, no, it needs to be 20 degrees. It needed to be 30 degrees to work with the six coal I had. But that was a life or death situation where if that was the only coal I had, I'd be so disappointed. But it was not, so I am not. We'll have enough time on this forge afterwards to uh, make some water, because that's important. All right, here we go. Forge the... Where are you? Rise hatchet. Heavy hammer. Right. Just, and these people say the game doesn't hold your hand. Well, it holds mine. Okay. Tired girl. Nice. I know, right? Maybe that wolf coat is just a pipe dream, but we're going to try all the same. So, I'm only missing out on one carcass if I go into Bleak Inlet on the inside, on the on the on the skeg side. So, we'll go from here to Forlorn to Bleak because Forlorn's destroyed. I'm, it's done. There are no carcasses. Sure, we get a little cushion on that before we do some gambling. Wow. I've gotten sick from better syrup, I'll tell you that. But now we can leave, guys. <clears throat> We can uh, we can definitely head to uh, 31 days. Perfect. We can. I would do anything for a drink right now. Like reach into your backpack and have a drink. Here, have that. There's calories in it. Man. We've still got a lot of food. Not like a lot, lot, but a ton. Okay. Anyway, the point is, we got some waiting for some mystery light as well. We did go a little a far, far afield, you know. Okay, so we got here. Yeah. Okay. She won't sleep for six, but if she could sleep for five fifteen, that's fine with me. I want her fully rested so that she can read a book while it's blizzarding. Yarrr! Thank God we've got a drawer full of these. Okay. Alright. Book. Do it again. Well, we bathed that, but. Yeah, book reading into us. All I can think about is food. All right, all right. <clears throat> I 
have some then. You can hardly carry all your food. You have so much food now. Fast track it a little bit. I have some, I have some water. I drank all the herbal teas because really they are, they are not helpful. Okay, guys. All right. I was thinking about making arrowheads, but she just got too tired. How is the land? You know, we'll grab this little thing of lantern fuel. All right, Hammer. Enjoy your time here. And with this can. This one here is good. Hammer, you may stay. Two whetstones. I think that's the complete collection of whetstones I'm going to need. If I go through two whetstones because I've stayed alive that long, what am I? What am I stabbing? Like, what, what's going on? All right. Normally, I would never do this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Never do that. Anyway. Pick up a whole bunch of guts. Get all the stinky bars going, and then leave on a long walk through broken railroad. Huh. There's the sunshine we wanted. Beautiful day out. Minus one is what it feels like. We'll probably fix our gloves and make it feel like red zero, you know? So I believe we've gotten kind of what we can out of this place. We've grabbed all the cattails, we've looked for all the stashes where there could be little bits of food. I mean, we're coming out ahead, but... What? No. What are you flying around? Oh. Well. Makes sense. Makes sense. Now, one thing you're kind of getting, like, yeah, the weather didn't just change there at all, right? So, coincidence, I don't know. I think it's sometimes it's almost like immediate, and sometimes you have a, a minute to get your things in order, because a different weather system is coming in. Could be good, could be bad. <clears throat> I never thought of them as, as blizzard crows. I never thought of them like... But if you have really nice weather and there's an impending weather change in this game, it's not like, well, now the weather's much nicer. Have I been here? Only one way to find out. I thought I came over here and checked because... Wouldn't I? Well, okay, maybe I didn't put a fire here. We found a candy bar on the way out. Isn't that something?
That's all there will be now. So anyway, with that told, deterioration of uh, deer carcasses. Now the weather changed yet again. Well, anyway, now when you shoot a deer or a wolf, you won't go running to um, and that is correct. This is a new location discovered. So. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, when you shoot an animal, you're not running all over the place. Looking at all these frozen carcasses. Going, no, no, no. I need the one with seven kilograms of meat. I need the 15 pounder. Just the way that limb came into view, I thought there was a rabbit coming over the hill. Like, guys, I'm terrified of seeing any animal. Because then that just means for the past 30 days I have not been living in a dead world. It's almost impossible to... Uh, whoa, easy there almost impossible to, to really wrap your head around like the no animals I've had I don't know how many hours playing this game and I'm not the dude that likes to talk about his time played but I have played this game before and when you immerse yourself in a world for hours upon hours and it's the same consistent world and you give it such a gigantic change it is, it is, for the brain, I think it's just like driving down the highway and shifting your car into reverse. The transmission's not handling that, that, that change very well at all. Where's the rest of the car, actually? Like, the condition recovery alone makes this challenge nuts. So that's where you, they get you the condition recovery and now there's the added problem of uh, no carcasses guys I love it so much I think because the carcasses rot the, the beach coming fish should be fair game you're not gonna get like it's not like a, you know beach coming like you've watched me do it how many fish did I pick up like two three So, that's on a that's on an interloper run. Uh, <laughs> you know, they're, they're uh, I'm telling you. Those fish, uh, almost should be. I understand because they spawn in, but at the same time, man, those, now that the carcasses are gone. Should open up spawning fish, but I get it, it spawns, but you don't get enough. You might be able to eke out an extra, say, six days, maybe a week off of calories that you got from fish. You would lose your well fed bonus. Darn it, we've already gone this way, haven't we? What is it? Minus two. Still hot. Yes, we've definitely gone this way, but... Maybe I knew I was backtracking. Josh said, hey, you still have the crows. Now the carcasses are disappearing. Now they have even less of those. The world truly will be dead. 
Now, let's have a quick look around. I know, you're tired. You're always tired, always thirsty. Absolutely, you can. Really? No windproofing in that tree. The wind's coming right at your face. Yeah. I think we should have spotted a carcass somewhere around here if it was here. I hope the feathers stay on the ground, though. This will come in handy. Well, yeah. Who's throwing soup on the ground? In this economy? Alright, anyway. <laughs> Holy cow, soup. I found two cans. So, yes, soup for you. Yes. This is a person. I believe. You'd see the horns if it wasn't. They're, well, they're antlers, they're not horns. I know, right? change. get used to it. Alright, we're gonna sneak into this archway here and light a fire. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We should have run into a deer carcass at some point. I have killed this map for deer carcasses by walking through it. I had no idea you basically have. We're going to get no choice. And you had to, um, like absolutely had to, strip every resource that you found if you wanted long-term survival. So this is neat. I'm now, I am behind. Now, I'm not sure how it works like there might be carcasses left in typical mountain because i think i was in this zone when the update happened that did that maybe i wasn't i don't know i do not know i know she needs a nap You won't be sleeping out here, miss. Come on, we have better torches on us. Come on now. There we go. Do 
You will be heading to Bleak. Hey, easy. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Yeah. You have a soup. We found a lot of soup. So there will be a lot of food out here. Still. Even if I go through it all. There's still going to be quite a bit of food. We're keep going and going go through this way. There will be patches of you know, cattail after cattail as you Forlorn is a very kind place when it actually comes to food. Sleep in that cave up over there. How's that for fun? Sound like fun? She's hungry. She's tired. She's not cold, though. A long ice walk like that is pretty freaky and forlorn. You don't, you don't think, you know, that you can get across a, an expanse like that. I guess what, folks? You can't get to that tree, though, from here. You can't. Not like this. Let's go around. I don't know why you'd want to get to that tree, but... I had nine torches. Nine lovely torches. She's thirsty. Well, that means probably, though, it's almost like I would have set the snow shelter in motion as well. Mushrooms for when we come back. And there's a little new drop around to this side here. Okay. God, I need anything right about now. Yes, but I don't know where you are when you enter that cave. So you are going to set down a fire here. Because I don't know. Is she? Is she? In that cave, when she hits that cave, is she considered in Bleak Inlet? I know she's in a cave, but does the game timer start because she's Come transitioned out of Forlorn Muskeg? So she has to be somewhere on the map, which means she's in oh, yeah. Bleak, and then all my stuff is rotting away. Okay, okay. There we go. We'll get some coal on the way through. But it's the wolf pelt that's the most important too. So she needs to eat a little bit and then sleep. What did we get? We got some soups. Uh, we can't gamble right now. 
don't want to do that. Let's just eat a big mass of cattails. That way some circles get to happen. I know, there's a small percentage of my viewers, but I want to include everyone. All right, out of patience for that. Time to look at the drinking circle. Uh, okay, all right, all right. I'm being silly. Let's go. Sleep for one hour. She's doing okay on condition. I could do a little better. She did take a couple of hits. But I think if we look at the journal, 58%. She's getting healthier. All right, another hour. I believe the fire is completely safe here. It's got that cave wind block thing on the go. So we can stay here for another little bit. But what I will do actually is I'll probably just... No. Let's get that... Before we call it, let's get that... Let's get that wolf pelt. So... I hope it's not for the whole game. That's just be. That would be beyond cruel if it just did that. See, you're leaving Forlorn Muskeg. Now, can I. Ah! We were close. We were close. I almost got that ornamental piece of gold. So we're in the cave. What the heck? Do we drop it? We do. But on the rope, you can hold on. Funny, it's one of those not really important crawl through spots. So you don't need to crawl through there. Just loops back around onto itself. Those are cold though. Not a lot of coal. Hopefully we have the same weather pattern on the other side.
Okay, well, easy. 1% frozen? Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ouch. Um, okay. Go. Then we'll run inside, drop all the pelting gets. And start looking for carcasses in here on our next episode. Well, lucky for us, there's a sardine factory. Lucky day indeed. How bad is it? Okay. We'll make it. It's a goddamn freezing. Oh. I gotta just do this. Beautiful. Have some parasite meat. Grab a torch. Drink some water. And take our bounty into this cave to cure while we are here. We're going to explore the bottom. I'm going to generally stay away from the cannery. Until I go up and get the code. This means there's no deer at the bottom of the ravine. It's just catastrophe, I tell you. So we took a little bit of damage so we could get her. I could make sure I got that wolf hide. Nice. Okay, we have all the guts. I never need to get another guts. 160 rose hips. That's a few rose hips as well. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep surviving. See you in bleak, guys. We'll see you in bleak. Okay, that was, that was who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. That was great outro music followed by Miss Pee Drinking Lady craziness. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.